it's an evil world we live in. Thomas Brady. Thomas Brady, guys. Everybody knows the story about Thomas Brady. Thomas Brady, you know, I mean, the woman, this, this Jezebel, Giselle, tried to get Thomas Brady to come back to the happy household and do fatherly duties so she could focus on her career. Yeah, that's what the... So I could focus on my career. That's what the story was. But again, the story is not always the story. The story was there was another bull in the ring. All right, and so this happened to Kevin Costner. This happened to Tom Brady. Giselle was like, hey, I want to be out here. I want to I focus on my career. I don't want you to get injured and hurt. I don't want you to go and destroy your family. You're being selfish. You're going to get a concussion protocol, and then you're going to be fucked over, and I'm going to have to care, take care of you in your 50s and 60s. You're going to be a vegetable. That's what she told the world, and that's what the women wanted to hear. She's just looking out for him. She's just protecting him, but that wasn't the story. Same thing with Kevin Costner. She said the same thing. You need to come home. You need to be with us. And you're out there filming a hit series called Jellystone. And you're out there filming it. You're selfish. You're pursuing all this money. You're making the most money in the world. But I need you home. You said you were retired. And then he wrapped it up. He made everybody's uh, series uncomfortable. He made them work crazy hours. And then he left only to find out she was banging another bull. So Giselle was in the same situation. She was saying Tom Brady needed to come back home and take care of the kids. But then when he, if he retired for a few weeks, he found out she was fucking the jujitsu instructor. Mm. All right. So it was just the series. And gentlemen, I want you to listen to me. It was just she had another bull in the ring. And once the bull in the, is in the ring, what will happen is she'll start to feel that competition anxiety. Sometimes women feel competition anxiety when you have other women or uh, have other things. But also, when a woman has another love interest plus a marriage or two love interests, it will build anxiety. And that anxiety will make her press on one guy. Let me give you an example as I teach you here. And thank you for hitting the like button. If she has one or two guys she's interested in and one guy proposes marriage to her, it's typically the guy that she doesn't necessarily this the guy that proposes marriage to her is someone she thinks can string she can string him along he's the beta brad he proposed to me he's going to give me the life that i want white picket fence house two kids and a dog i can string him along he'll be forever but i really wish this guy would propose to me so she'll string him along and hold him off let me think about it let me think about it but what she'll do is she'll go to the second guy and be like hey you about to snatch me off the market. You better step up. This is Chad. And Chad will be like, bitch, 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 make me rich. All right, this type of thing. Now, this happened in the docuseries or the series. Um, it wasn't a docuseries. It was a series called um, Sex Over Life. All right, Sex Over Life. Just so I can explain this to you because I'm here to educate, guys. I'm not here to talk negatively about people. This happened in the series Sex Over Life, with the, which the women loved. The women loved this series because um, this is how women live, right? They're torn. There's Chad at the bottom, the high, adventurous, sexy guy, the rock star, the music producer, living in the, you know, the, the loft. And then there's the, there's the husband material, Brad, right? Which one would she choose? She was stuck. Right, She even took Chad. He was bad in bed. He couldn't even get it up, or he was bad in bed. He couldn't last. Mr. Two-Pump Chump, five-stroke special. And then this girl, this guy right here would throttle her. She was really stuck. Now, almost all women who are proposed marriage, they have this conundrum. And this is Bill's anxiety. What do I want? She kind of wants Chad to give Chad to become Brad. Or she wants Brad to become Chad. She's in a conundrum. She's like, if this guy was actually cooler and actually learned how to uh, throttle my guts and eat the, eat the punani. Did you eat that cat? Right? Brad would be the perfect man. But men aren't like that, right? Or if this guy managed to want to settle down and have a house in the hills and a white picket fence and a dog and kids, he would be the perfect man. So this scenario builds up, a, uh, builds up anxiety. Similarly, you propose to a girl and she's like, yeah, oh, that's so wonderful. Yeah, I, yes. And she'll accept the engagement. And then she'll go to the other guy, Chad, Tyrone. Hey, he proposed to me. And even all the way up into the marriage, she'll sleep with him one last time. You know, this is the last time. 
This is the competition. Competition anxiety. She doesn't know what to do. She wants both. She wants both worlds. All right, and so in this situation here with Giselle, Giselle um, um, in the situation with the brother Kevin Costner, Giselle told Tom Brady to quit football because the jujitsu instructor was fucking her. All right, this is the reality of it. All right, nobody can deny it. That's what was happening. It didn't have nothing to do with he was being selfish and he don't want to be a family member and he was putting her career on the back burner. She made sacrifices. It was all because this guy was fucking her. That's, that's it. And she was stuck and she was like, Tom, better come home. Better come home. All right, and she even sent the ninja pictures. All right, let me show you right here. She sent the ninja pictures of her rolling around on the mat with the ninja. All right, let me see if I can find that picture. All right, they even went on vacations together. So, oh, here we go. Here's the map pictures. She even posted these on social media, fam. Right, she posted that picture. You see this picture of her got this ninja in the headlock? She posted this during the marriage. During the marriage, she posted that picture. Now, this is the guy that she ended up having an affair with and ended up becoming pregnant by. Remember, we always tell you their backup plan is already there. Almost all women, they say 70% of women, have their backup plan already. They already have their backup plan. So if the relationship doesn't work, they got the next monkey that they're going to branch to. So this guy during the marriage of Tom Brady, by the way, I'll show you, Tom Brady commented on this picture. Yes, way. Yes, guys. This is deep. This shit is deep. Let me see if I can find the picture. Uh, Tom Brady comments on picture. This shit goes deep, man. Tom Brady comments on picture wife jujitsu. This shit, this shit is deep, bro. Okay. All right. The thing is, there, there, there's so many things here they're, they're t- commenting on. Uh, here it is right here. Uh, if I can find it. I won't be able to find it. All right, but here's another picture that was posted during the marriage. This is a picture right here. She posted this photo during the marriage to Tom while she was trying to get him to retire and he was out playing for the Buccaneers. Remember, I don't know if you remember, Tom Brady left football camp with the Buccaneers the last year he played. He left camp like right before the season started. Right before the season started. And because this was going on, this was what was happening in the background. And she was like, hey, uh, we're falling in love. He fucking on me. It is what it is. And then he left camp and he came back. I think they played. He didn't have a good season that year. That was his last season. All right, so let's go forward with this one right here. Um, they said they split up. All right, so here's, the, here's what's going on. Here's, here's what we got to tell you here. This is all alleged, according to the internet. Tom Brady's ex, Giselle Bunchen is expecting her first child with what this guy's name is, uh, Jaquim Valente. Uh, that's his name that he goes by. That's the name that he goes by here. All right, and so this is this right here tells you, bro, this was all in the works. This is all in the works. There he is right there. There they are on a date, and she tried to say, oh, my mom died, and I'm traumatized. At the end of the day, she was fucking another guy. All right, that's what was happening. All right, she tried to put everything, put the kids up there. Do you need to take care of the kids and take them to school? But what was happening was, This was the affair. So now what she has done is now become pregnant by this guy at age 44. Gentlemen, this shit is wild, bro. This shit is wild. Uh, Tom Brady just posted a cryptic message after Giselle's pregnancy news broke. Take a look. All right, this is Tom Brady. You know he pissed right now. And what did I tell you guys? This is before the ink is even dry on their divorce. What did I tell you? I told you most men won't find out Why they got divorced till years later. It will be years later before the whole puzzle gets put together. And then you're going to be like, oh, my Lord. It will be three, five years down the line. Like, wow. She really did me that. She really did me that. Like, oh, my Lord. All right. um, Tom Brady posted this. 
Oh, mirror in the sky, what is love? This is his response to finding out that Giselle is pregnant by the jujitsu instructor that was the cause of his divorce. Right here. <clears throat> Gentlemen, when I tell you, and I'm a bitter old jaded man, when I tell you guys to keep living, you youngins keep living. I know, I don't want you guys to fail. When I tell you to keep living, things will be revealed. Tom Brady is even going what is love. By the way, Tom Brady, you're in Vegas, brother. You are part owner of the Raiders. Come see your boy, CGA. I got you, bro. Hey, beer on me, Tom Brady. Come get counsel from your boy. I'll be your coach. I'll be your coach, Tom Brady. I can get you through this, sir. I can get you, Tom. Tom, I can get you to this because this is troubling. This is the mother of your children who is at now 43, 44, pregnated by the jujitsu instructor that was choking her punani while you was at football camp. You see, Tom Brady, I'm not hard to find, man. I'm not hard to find. Like, this is wild. I mean, this is anybody that minimalizes this, I don't even know what to tell you, bro. Like, you can't win out here, brother. And that's Tom Brady. <laughs> I'll get Tom Brady on the podcast. Tom, let's get on the podcast, brother. I got you. Because cause he said, let Tom pay for the beers. Because, dude, when you got, when you got, you can get this work out here. It's an evil world we live in. You, anybody can get this work. Anybody can get this work. It's that simple. That's why I look at, you know, where, where people think, oh, well, women don't do this and women would never. Oh, no, bro. I don't put this past anybody. I don't have a trust and belief system in human beings at all. So women don't get an extra set of trust because they got a punani between their legs. I don't give them the benefit of the doubt. Anybody is capable of doing this. Any woman, any woman, and any man too. I mean, I know we talk about women a lot, but listen, we're men talking about dating women and marriage to women. So I don't never really talk about what men do. We know the evil that men do. We know the evil that men do. All right. I don't, we can make a channel about it if you want. But it says Giselle and Jaquin or Jaquim are happy for this next chapter in their life, according to an insider close to the Brazilian pair. They're both Brazilian, and they're looking forward to creating a peaceful and loving environment for the whole family. Uh, this baby will be Bunch's third child, the supermodel age 44, shares custody of Benjamin 14 and daughter 11. Tom Brady also has a child or two from a previous relationship. And he shares them with Tom Brady, the former couple who divorced was finalized in 2022. The ink is barely dry. Live across the way from each other in Miami Beach. And it says right there, the boyfriend, which was the man she was having an affair with, is jujitsu instructor right there. All right. And he can't handle it, bruh. Hey, don't crash out. I guess there was a song that he had put on there um, called Landslide. Tom is hurt right now. Tom is hurt. Oh, man. All right, but shout out to Tom Brady, man. This could be, see, the, I don't think he's probably concerned. Let's just say, um, let's just say this. If, if Tom Brady had divorced Giselle and Giselle went off with another guy and she met this guy and she had a baby with him, and married him or married him, but this guy was not present during the divorce, this would be different, right? If he can prove that they met, he, I'm pretty sure he would be happy for her. What saddens him is that this was the result of everything at the end of his life. This is, I mean, at the end of his football career, all of the mental games that she played. We're going to talk about mental games. The main event's coming up. The mental games that, that these women play on you, and make you seem like you're the problem and you're it selfish. It's all Jermaine's fault. It's always Jermaine's fault. Um, you know, she played games with him. And it led to the fracture and breakup of his marriage and family, which if she didn't play these games, they still would be together. But, of course, she got a little bit selfish and fell in love and got sprung over her jujitsu instructor. Um, and she selfishly destroyed her family, destroyed her family, home record. And now she's out here with a new love. Shout out to her. But it's different because it's this guy. It's different because, wait a minute, where is it? Where's the, okay, I guess I lost the jujitsu picture. It's different because it's the guy, it was the other bull in the ring. 
That's why it's different. It was the reason for their breakup. And, oh, look at this. Got the ninja around his kids. I mean, this is tough. And, you know, they've only been divorced for two years. This is not long enough. This is going to be painful. And the ninja around your kids, too? Oh, this is betrayal, man. <laughs> this is betrayal. This is a knife in the back, in the gut. That this woman was doing this, and it was all because, again, another bull in the ring. This had nothing to do with him being selfish and pursuing his career interests. She just started having an affair and fell in love with another guy. On your dime and on your time. This is diabolical work. Ninja, this is work. This is worthy of getting uh sentenced to the gas chamber. This is how ninjas crash out. This is how ninjas become OJ Simpson. Not saying that you should, but I'm saying this is how they become that. <laughs> this is how they become that. Just seeing this. This to me would be, yeah, this is human. This is against, this is crimes against humanity. These are crimes against humanity to do this to your seed, to do this to your legacy. You know what I mean? And then when this happens to men, all right, then this, when this happens to men, they tell you, you bitter. They tell you, you hurt. They tell you, you jaded. And you sitting there like what crimes against humanity. You know, I mean, these are just the evil things that happens here. And they sweep this shit under the it's rug. evil world we live in. All because in. love. Oh, well, she fell in love with him. Hey, Ninja, hey. All's fair in love, is, in love and war. But all, don't, God forbid you cheat on your wife with a 22-year-old girl, woman. God forbid, God forbid you, you get some side trim occasionally. Yeah, they'd be like, who hurt you? And they'd be doing crimes against humanity. These are terrible crimes. Not even God. I mean, God is going to judge her. Women have got stoned in the past for these type of uh, uh, transgressions. But we sweep it under the rug. And then we tell Tom Brady, man, move on, man. You just jaded and hurt, man. We all become victims of these things, man. Absolutely. And they blame it us for it. It's all Jermaine Fool. It's always Jermaine Fool. Wait, this clip. Check me out on the Free Agent Lifestyle channel for the best morning live stream every weekday. And, of course, we're back for the evening live streams as well. Check out the times in the featured channels on this channel right here. And also, the links are in the description box. I will see you there. New, 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 new world order.